The Division of Renal Medicine has consistently been recognized as one of the premier kidney programs nationally and internationally. Brigham and Women's Hospital Renal Division is a very unique place. Uh, it's an extremely uh, exciting intellectual atmosphere. Uh, we have multiple investigators in fields spanning large-scale epidemiology to clinical trials, mathematical modeling, as well as a very rich basic uh, science infrastructure. One of the uh, critical things that's really um, distinguishing and unique about the Brigham uh, Renal Division is its history and the contributions that it's made over the years to nephrology. This was the place where um, dialysis really had its um, initiation uh, with the Kalf uh, Brigham kidney. Uh, and then commercial dialysis uh, came out of the Brigham. So I'm uh, known for uh, developing novel procedures uh, in interventional uh, nephrology um, with a particular focus on getting the right flow and pressure for a particular patient. When we started 10 years ago, uh, the projections were that we would do about a case and a half per day. And uh, that's about what we started out in the first year. We had 150 cases uh, and then uh, have increased incrementally year after year and we're now doing about 2,000 cases. Dr. Merrill was involved in the production of the first safe kidney dialyzer, which became known as the Kalf Brigham kidney. We were the site of the first successful kidney transplant. My predecessor, Dr. Barry Brenner, who led the division for many years, did groundbreaking work that led to the widespread use of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers to slow down the progression of chronic kidney disease. And, uh, more recently, um, we were the site that recognized uh, uh, APOL1, which is a predominant risk factor in the African American community, um, leading to their increased risk of progression of chronic kidney disease. This division um, is uh, one of the oldest transplant program in the country, and uh, also trained pioneers and innovators in the field. But what's also exciting about this division, I think, is the environment uh, where the division is. We're surrounded by so many great institutions that allow many of the investigators in this, this division to collaborate with pioneers in different fields and use a multidisciplinary approach to move the field of nephrology forward. Uh, this KDSEM now is um, very popular among the undergraduate students. So currently, we have 19 chapters nationwide, um, and they're still going. When I um, came on, I, I started this um, a little bit from scratch, um, and uh, right now it's a growing business. I'm getting more and more patients on a referral uh, basis. Uh, I focus on polycystic kidney disease, um, which is also my, my research interest. And a distinguishing feature of the division is this um, attention to education, to research, and to clinical care. And as a result, we attract the best and the brightest, and we produce large numbers of leaders in the field of nephrology who then go out and provide uh, new insights and new innovations and great clinical care throughout the world. The division really was instrumental in allowing me to, you know, follow my passion. So really nutrition was my passion. They helped me get more um, knowledge into the field of biostatistics as well as epidemiology. And I'm currently finishing up a master in nutrition and policy, which the division was fully uh, behind me and really supported me throughout all of these endeavors. One of my roles is on the Leadership Council for the MD-PhD program here at Harvard Medical School. It is, uh, of course, one of the uh, most well-known programs in the country. We train the next generation of physician scientists, and I'm very proud to be a part of that. I'm also an alumna of that program. And so I feel a great sense of responsibility to pass it on, if you will, so that they can um, take it to the next level and one day become uh, the next generation of leaders. A major effort of the division is to understand how to optimize the conversion of stem cells to kidney cells. 
and those kidney cells, whether they're in the form of mini kidneys or organoids, or whether they're isolated kidney cells, can then be engineered. We have come full circle to develop the first dialyzer to move to a focus on replacing that technology using the current generation of engineering innovators.